I done this before you fall. I won't catch you, don't know I'm stolen. Cause you love to have a more crying. Gonna be sweet, tell me you need me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing an editorial photo shoot. I've got my model Kyla Shea and I've got a full team with hair, makeup, wardrobe styling, and creative direction. Everyone's name is linked down in the description below, so make sure you check them out. We are shooting in a studio today with natural light only and we're doing four looks, so come with me and let's check it out. Preparation is key. It doesn't matter how big or small the shoot is or whether it's paid or just a test shoot, you always need to show up prepared with a mood board and a vision to show your team. Ask yourself the following questions. What do I want to create? What's the theme of the shoot? Do I want to shoot indoors or outdoors with natural or artificial light? What time of day should I plan the shoot? And what kind of model and styling do I want? These are just a few things to get you started. Coming prepared to a shoot will give your team and clients a good and professional impression of you. Have your mood board, required gear, and everything ready to go, and you'll always kill it. For this shoot, I wanted the pictures to look like they came straight out of the 90s. So I created a mood board with my team and we discussed everything beforehand and what we were going for so that we were all on the same page. While my model is in hair and makeup, I worked with Ellen, my creative director, to figure out where we were gonna shoot each look based on the lighting and the wardrobe to create the mood that we wanted. For the first look, we have this really cool two-piece set and these gold Chanel earrings. I really loved the way the light was coming in and hitting the white wall. So I positioned the model in front of it and I had her move around forwards and backwards to play with the shadows on her face. I switched between my 50 millimeter lens to get some wider shots that show the full outfit and my 100 millimeter lens to get some tighter cropped shots of her face. The most important part of an editorial shoot like this is the team that you work with. It's really important that you get people who are like-minded, who have a similar vision, and who understand what you're going for. And once you've built up teams of people like this, it is really fun to come together and collaborate and see what each person brings to the table. I do create a mood board and I give everyone a sense of direction, but I like to let the creatives that I work with take a little bit of freedom in what they're doing because I find that they get a little more excited about it as well. So for this example, I told them I wanted 90s vibes and everyone just kind of ran with it and created in their own way. And to me, that's when the most beautiful collaborations and images come together. When shooting with just natural light, it's really important to consider the time of day that you'll be shooting. I use an app called Sunseeker, and on this app, it will show you exactly where the sun's going to be at what time. So you can really have a good idea of where the sun will be, where the shadows will be, where the light will be, and you can plan out where to shoot each look beforehand. When working with a stylist, I like to give her direction, but I don't like to tell her exactly what to do because I find that with a lot of stylists, when you show them a reference image, sometimes they'll just try to copy the exact outfit. But I think that when you give people a little bit of creative freedom, that's when the magic really happens. So I like to give them a decade or an era and maybe a mood board full of 10 or 20 images and just tell them that that's the mood that you're going for, not necessarily exactly like that. Usually when I approach it that way, I get way better results and I get things that I can't even imagine because I'm not a stylist, that's not my specialty but I do have an idea of what I like. For look number three, we went inside and I really, really love the texture on the walls in this studio. It added so much depth and dimension to the photos. We also found these white blocks in the studio and we use them to help pose the model in different ways to make the images a little more interesting.
for this look, I really wanted to get some tight shots of the model's face to show off her makeup and her jewelry. So I shot through these crystals that I have and it really just gives it this cool, dreamy, ethereal look. The only trick to this is that you have to shoot at an F4 or lower to blur out the crystal or else it'll have some harsh edges in the photo and it won't give you that same effect. If you don't have these crystals, you can always shoot through other objects like glass bottles. You can add Vaseline to the lens. You can shoot through plants. But I love having these crystals on hand because I know that I have what I need to add a little extra something to the image if I need it. Sometimes when I get into a time crunch, it can be really difficult to manage a big group of people and also focus on the model and her poses. This is key when it comes to an editorial shoot because you're trying to create a certain mood and you want to make sure that the poses that she's in match the flow of the shoot. What really helps with this is to create a separate section of the mood board just for poses so that when you do get into that time crunch, you can reference that mood board and get the model into a pose quickly and efficiently. In this example, I did have a creative director, Ellen, who is absolutely amazing with posing and working with models. She put a mood board together just for poses, and when we were in a time crunch in the end, she knew exactly which poses to put the model into to get the desired shots. And that's a wrap. Make sure you guys check out everyone on the team. I've linked all of their Instagrams down in the description below. Make sure you hit the little bell button so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Woo! <laughs> <laughs>